garden with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, a loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind. Just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery. Making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. Obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Привет, Владивосток. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to a Sam Story DLC for Metro Exodus. Um, this one, so obviously we played the two kernels last. If you haven't watched it, you can find that down below. Um, or in the top right hand side of the screen obviously if you did not know that was more like a linear thing um so this is more metro style this is like the open world side we're playing the sam for those of you who haven't seen the metro exodus game you can also find that down below um sam is an american in that that kind of is part of the uh russian metro group Okay. I don't think we're gonna find no we can't even get in there. I guess we head towards where these gunshots were going off. Get lost, you idiot. Okay. Don't fucking kill him, I'm warning you. Next time I'll What way do I go? Can't go that way. Oh, here we go. Who are they attacking? The question. Mm. 
much oblige! Boys, the fuckers got help! What the fuck? Is that it? <laughs> I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! Alright! Coming up, bud. Yeah, take all that shit first. Take all that. Okay. Going up. Shut you, you fucker. What the hell? Why don't you take a dive? Oh shit. Hey, put your gun down. Hey, take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now. <laughs> you first. Yeah, I'll be damned. All right, what now? Look, if I wanted you dead, you'd be long since dead by now. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Where is she? I see no ship. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join oh, those I see a ship over there. Is that a ship? They keep there is a ship. I see a ship there. Try to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. I do see a ship. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Another one? Seriously. Talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu. Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me. Right behind you, Chief. Oh. Oh. A weird looking thing. Oh, God. Ammo. Where is he? Am I supposed to like jump down or?
Bir yava mı? Am I missing something? It's mad. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Oh, right, I need a gun. Where did that guy go? Sir? I've, um... Been back. Get off me. That's an evil thing. Wasn't there. Sir, where did you go? I wanted to get a ride on your submarine. Break his leg. No, we're not. Nope. Get him. Close him. Piss off. Oh. I'm gonna stun you instead, boy. The other American on there. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys. We're to stand by. Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there. I do. It's clouds. 
Clouds. This is a storm, pal. Yeah. Oh, look at the fight. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge. Switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub. So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, are you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... Wow. Yeah. I have trouble believing it myself. Oh, yeah. Listen up, Yeah. Change of plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Uh, bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me. Who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. There he is. Is that him? Yeah, it's me. Well, hello there. Hi. Why are you still tied up? Because your goons haven't untied me. Please come aboard. Take the guests to the gangway. Yes, boss. Shit, we pissed the cat off. We should have taken the rope off. Then we'd get chewed up for acting on our own. Yeah, there's just no making the cat happy. <sighs> it's not our day. <laughs> That's well, not. Your Highness, we've arrived. Come aboard. Where am I going? Wait, do I go this way? No, I guess we are going that way. Wish I could run. Oh, he's walking down there. US 2036 Mayflower. I am. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? America. San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly, a heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. <clears throat> Look, man, uh, remind me, what was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right. Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners. If you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. 
Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. Who's that? By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Hello. Clem's boys couldn't oh, invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still, just look at that. Yeah, had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait, I, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. We told you that. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. But it's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Won't you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. We don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Kuroshu. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? Yeah. I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connection to the whatsoever. That's where I came in. Clem handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Clem's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> Then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, uh. He did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. Uh, that's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Uh, Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational. He does not like the look of us. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, but just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we 
could create such a force? A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get right. the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah, a lot of things starting to make sense now. Great, then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. He's offering a good deal. 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 Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam B, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Yep. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Mm. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Thank you. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. All right. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave. Just leave. Bye. Goodbye. All right, guys, we've got our heading, but we're going to end the first episode right there. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, most importantly, get out yourselves a beautiful day, and bye-bye.